potential. Potential, it's an interesting thing, isn't it? At first you can't see it. And it can only be found if you believe it's there. But when you believe, it changes everything. Because potential means the future is bright. There have been times I, I was told I had no potential. When I was told, no future. There were times I believed they were right. But then one day, I was given a gift. I was given the opportunity to grow. The opportunity to discover. To believe. To be believed in. And my life was changed forever. 50 years ago, our community decided to believe. And they opened the doors to a place of opportunity for thousands of us. This is that story. In April of 1946, my sister Susan Elaine Spittler was born with Down syndrome. At the time, children that had disabilities had to be shipped off to school. That just broke my parents' hearts. They wanted her home with the family. My parents met other parents who were also facing the same dilemma. All of them together, they founded Vale Day School, where these kids could thrive and learn and have fun and still be with their families. We focused on life skills so that they could have a valuable um, and independent life. The Valparaiso community took this school and put their arms around it. In 1967, all of a sudden, my school kids were getting into their 20s, and it's like they need to have more than just school. And that's when a little mini workshop began. That was the beginning of Opportunity Enterprise. Any little work that could be done was done. If it was polishing silverware, we'll polish silverware. Color coding IBM cars could do that. There's no way to even describe what it meant to them. It could have been 60 cents or $60. They earned it. That brought them up and made them feel so good about themselves. And it would be, Miss Lori, I got a paycheck today. Look, look. Things started to grow very fast. And as we grew, OE listened. When we were eager to work, OE found us jobs. When we wanted to learn home living skills, OE taught us. When we needed a ride to and from the workshop, OE purchased a bus. When we desired to live independently, OE created group homes. When we were ready for jobs in the community, OE found them. When we needed more space, OE made it happen. When I stand here in this 42,000 square foot building, thinking from whence we came, you understand that it was done with literally hundreds and even thousands of people from throughout this county who participated in some way to make this a reality. And when you stop and think that this effort was the single largest fundraising effort in Porter County, you understand how much love and affection and feeling goes out to the clients of Opportunity Enterprise. When we moved into the uh, facility, there was 360 people being served with 127 staff. We believed it was essential that we kept open and listened to people. We just had this culture that we were going to make it happen and that permeated throughout our agency for all clients in all departments. We were gonna figure it out. 
as our people continue to grow, we had to find ways to engage them, to help bring their talents forward, and to give them the services that they need. Each one of our programs is designed to take them where they're at and take them to the next higher level. You have to learn what motivates them, what inspires them, what are their goals, what are their dreams. Listening to our families is why respite exists. There was a need by our families to provide a service. We were able to meet those needs, but it has continued to grow and to grow and to grow. So the future for OE is to listen to our families, to listen to our clients, and to meet their needs. In every parent's mind that have a child with a disability, what's going to happen when we're no longer here? I can look now and know having OE in our lives has made such a big difference that there is hope. Because OE saw the potential in me I'm doing amazing things. I have a job I love. I have a bank account. I'm cooking. I do my own laundry. I'm living in my own apartment. I take care of myself. I love my life. Yeah, I was really excited to move out of mom and dad's house. If it wasn't for OE, I wouldn't have been able to do any of those things. So I'm very, very grateful to OE. 50 years ago or today, it's the same. It's about believing. It's about believing in potential in each and every individual that we serve. And together, that's what we'll do. We'll continue to change lives. We'll continue to see the potential. And we'll continue to believe.